Welcome back. This is Just One More Story Farm, and today is bath time. So I have with me here today Anna. Anna is a one-year-old St. Bernard, and she's getting her bath today. She is a farm dog, so she gets pretty dirty pretty often. So we do a lot of bath time. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. Hopefully that will help you in learning some tips and tricks for bathing time with your pets at home. farm a wicked awesome farm watch this channel to learn what to do we love to farm and we'll show you yeah welcome to our show Whoa. just one more story farm first i always attach her to somewhere in the yard somewhere where i can attach her safely to that way i'm not chasing her all around the yard been there done that it's not easy it's a big yard so to chase her with the water bucket not, not as easy so that's tip number one to attach your dog tip number two have all your supplies ready to go before you start so i have shampoo i have a towel i have buckets of warm water because i find that our dogs oh, excuse me i find that our dogs prefer their bath times with warm water rather than the hose with the hose they're running all over trying to get away I usually try to go for like an oatmeal shampoo for these guys. Okay, so to get started, I get her wet. So I typically pick up a dog shampoo. They can sometimes have some allergies, a little sensitive skin, so I picked out some oatmeal. This one's almost empty, this well and good oatmeal shampoo. And then I got a full bottle of the Esprit oatmeal baking soda shampoo. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to Take some shampoo. Disregard the noise in the background. That is a rooster and a hen mating. Okay, so we are going to scrub some shampoo into her coat. And she loves that part. I am pretty generous with the shampoo. She's got a really thick coat and I really like to work it in. And I also know the dirty situations she gets herself in here on this farm. I like to let that sit on her for a good five to 10 minutes, uh, just so that it can really work its way into the skin, soothe the skin and clean the fur pretty well. So I actually, since I have two dogs, I like to get the soap all on her, lathered up good. And then I actually bathe the second dogs. So I'll bathe Sven, or if I did Sven first, then I'll bathe her vice versa, either way. So that way one dog is all soapy and it's sinking in while I bathe the other one. Then I swap, I'll get her rinsed off. And then when I'm done rinsing her, I'll rinse Sven. I'm gonna go get Sven and we'll get him all lathered up while she marinates, shall we say. <laughs> I do recommend you leash your dog if, if needed. With Sven, we've been doing this for four years and he really, really enjoys it. So I don't have an issue with him taken off on me. Now we're gonna switch back to Anna. We're gonna get her all rinsed off and then we'll rinse Sven off. I know you're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah, you don't want it to be over yet. Huh? No. He used to get his baths in the bathtub, but he quickly outgrew the bathtub. He used to just wanna just hang out in the bathtub for a long time in his bubble bath. Time to rinse off Anna. I've got four more buckets here, so we're gonna finish rinsing her off. You got the camera all wet. <laughs> it's okay, pretty girl. rinsing them you just want to check them over and just look to see if you see any any bubbles 
you want to do your best to get so right now I'm finding some bubbles on his chest so we're gonna do a better job cleaning the bubbles off of his chest if you're finding bubbles try your best to get them off because leftover shampoo can make it feel a little itchy when it dries this guy is looking good all right miss Anna I'm gonna double check her make sure I'm not cleaning any soap Nope, she looks good as well. Seven buckets of water for two large dogs for a bath. Not bad. Of course, the hose is easier, but unless it's like the peak of the summer where it's super hot and they enjoy the cold hose water, we do buckets of warm water. We're going to use a towel to dry them off. Come, come. Who wants to get dried off? Come here. Oh, Sven wants to go first. Sven loves getting towel dried. He loves it. Yes, he does. So I do my best to dry them off with the towel. If it's nice and sunny out, they'll hang out outside while they dry. It's starting to get dark a little bit now, so we're gonna take them inside and they can finish drying inside. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so now that we're done with bath time, after every bath, I always make sure that I clean their ears. The reason being, if you get any water in their ears, it can actually irritate their ears and cause a potential ear infection. If you'd like <laughs> to see how I clean my dog's ears, you can check out the next video on YouTube, or you can check it out on our website, Just One More Story Farm, where you'll see links to our videos as well. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and if you liked this video, can you hit that like button? And if you'd like to see more of these videos, if you hit that subscribe button to support us, we'd really, really appreciate it. And we'd love to share more videos with you. Okay, bye. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, burger you we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really is the place to be. Whoa.